In the beginning of December, we went a couple of times out to the seaside to collect seaweed from the beach. One of the neighbors told us about a spot where we could find plenty of seaweed. It's a resource many of the locals use in their gardens. There are many benefits for using it and I'm looking forward to try it out. The coastline is much windier and colder now than our place at home, just 5 kilometers inland. I've used the seaweed as a mulch to top off the first hugelkultur garden bed and left the rest aside for building a compost pile later. Around 4 o'clock in the afternoon it is pitch black outside. I started making some curtains for our windows, but oh my god, it takes patience to do it by hand and sewing is not one of my best skills. Jonas made a little Christmas present for his mom, a necklace out of local juniper wood and a stone from the beach. The smell of the wood is delicious. The nighttime is incredible here. The skies are filled with thousands of stars. Something we really like to do before bedtime is reading out loud. At the moment, we are enjoying some old Celtic tales and poems from the book Cinderbiter from Martin Shaw. To me, they are laureates. Warrior gear a gleam, straight, turf and firm. Underfoot, nail of the lovers, blackbird loose with steel. One day this month I got the clay plaster microbe again.
I'm doing a second layer of clay plaster against the walls of our cabin. At the same time, Jonas made it place for drying out wood that we're harvesting and collecting. Quite cozy to work inside, close to the stove, when it's cold outside. Stones are very visible here in the landscape. Stone walls mark borders and field stones are often piled up next to the field or in little islands in the middle. Hi everybody! I just found a beautiful pile of stones to sit against. <laughs> we had a visit from the neighbor some time ago and he brought a friend with him. And uh, they came for a chat, which was really nice. And he was explaining to us that our farm once belonged to his grand-grand-grandfather. And he was also telling us that the island once was like the, the most, uh, the richest place of all of Estonia. Like, uh, very organized with a lot of fields and animals and quite a lot of people and that during the Soviet times they decided to uh, to plant all kind of forests especially on the west coast of the islands because it was like the the border with Europe and they wanted to hide their military equipment and it was easier to do that if there would be forest so they planted a lot of forests so that's the forest here in these days and it's funny to see the the pictures of like the island from 100 years ago when there was all, almost only some pines and junipers and it was not, not, a lot, not a lot of forest at all so it's a big difference from now the weather has been so grey the last month maybe we had like a couple of hours of sun or so I guess this period of the year is like the the most heavy and dark time so I'm gonna look forward to the rest of the winter when it's maybe more cold with some snow and some more sunny days. If we, I'm gonna go in the forest in my, in behind me. You can see all those stone walls who probably would have been uh, those meadows for where the animals could graze. They used it as a natural fence but now it's all uh, forest, planted forest. Around our land I found many old roads that are barely used anymore. Old roads that used to connect the little villages around here. I just 
just saw a deer, but I couldn't catch it on the camera. It went so quickly. Then it was time to start a big compost heap. I have some wood chips at hand as a carbon source and plenty of seaweed to use as nitrogen. With our plans for a vegetable garden and a flower cut garden, we will need plenty of compost to improve our soil. I don't think this compost heap will be ready for next spring, but I hope to use it the following autumn. Fingers crossed it will work. Vind ik leuk. Het moet wel indrukwekkend zijn, hè? Nee, dat is niet waar. <laughs> Zeker. 
Thanks so much for watching. It's great that you are following along. We're actually going to leave tomorrow, like for a week to Belgium. But I see you guys back in January in the next video. Bye. Just before we left, we made a little exploration trip to a part of a nature reserve on the west coast of Saarema to experience the open landscapes and walk aside the seashore. It's a special place, but on one side the half-frozen lake and on the other side the movement of the sea.